okay so that was really wild finally ready to get into this um yeah so i mean we've been talking about it i've been telling you guys i needed to do an updated most complimented fragrance video here it is there it goes okay so if you like fragrance if you love smelling good if you love smelling good then the place to be okay thank you so much you subscribers thanks for joining my perfume mafia you're not a member of my perfume mafia you know what you need to do okay all right all right so i'm i'm like trying to twist my body move your hips okay however i don't have my leg up because i'm having some issues with my feet you know with my feet so if it looks awkward when i'm like turning to the side that's why i guess i could put them over here but then i'll be bent now you know what let's just do it all right so the first one is actually going to be a, a body mist okay so i'm trying to give you a little scenario of when i received these compliments or my favorite time i did but i was walking into a professional meeting and it was a older lady actually she was a little bit up there but that's good because when a older lady says you smell good you really smell good okay so she told me that i smelled really good she's like it's so nice to have a young lady takes care of herself smell good unlike some of these other girls and i was like oh no right oh no right but yeah she was talking about bath and body works wild honeysuckle this is a retired scent this is retired but i think you still get them online or sometimes they have them in store but this is like straight up honeysuckle i have a layering scent video that i did a little while ago okay um and i featured this one because i love to layer this with some of my other fragrances and perfumes that have a very prominent nice white floral fun playful honeysuckle note but yeah i really like this one it is pretty strong and it lasts pretty well for just a body mist but it should because how much are these they used to be 14 dollars when i bought this how much are they now 14 50 maybe 15 dollars <sighs> expensive but this one actually performs so yeah i like it wild honey suckle it's just like and i have a crowd pleasers video but this one is just like if you wear it it's not super strong it's not super unique but people are going to like it and they're just going to say they're just going to say you smell nice you smell nice that's the kind of compliment you're going to get when you rock versace bright crystal now i got this from a website to where they have some really really big Really, really, really good deals, okay? It's called Kingdom Fragrance, okay? Check them out. Awesome website. But that's what I got. This has been out for so long. I mean, so many women have this in their collection. It's a fresh, floral, quintessential fragrance. Great for the workplace, inoffensive, and people are just going to be like, wow, you smell nice. It just smells like if you actually took a shower that day. That's about it. Fresh, musky but like youthful kind of a scent. I really like, why do I never wear this one? That's odd. But yeah, I really, really like that one. And check out that website, Kingdom Fragrances, okay? You guys know, I'm not gonna go too in depth because you guys especially know Bright Crystal. Or if not, then you're in the right place, okay? The next one that we have is going to be, recently talked about this one. I recently, recently, and it actually really prompted me to do this video because I told you, if you watch my, maybe two videos ago, I don't know, I'm losing count. But if you watched that video, you know that I was in the doctor's office. The doctor, doctor, okay? Because I got some things I'm trying to work on. But I was in the doctor's office and the nurse or the lady, whatever, the lady who takes your information, when you come in, okay? She was like, as I was exiting, she was like, hey, come here. And you always know when someone's going to ask you what fragrance you're wearing when they just be like, they have their pen ready or they have their phone ready. They're ready to get the information. And she was like, hey, can I ask you something? What were you wearing? As soon as she said that, I was like, oh, okay, yeah. It seemed, I guess it seemed a little bit cocky or something. Um, but I was like, I, I know what you're about to ask me. Because I was actually doing a wear test on this fragrance to make sure that it's good before I recommend it to you guys. But yeah, so this is Prada. This is a candy flanker. So this one is kind of like Prada candy, but it has that extra note of chocolate that is just so melty makes you hungry i mean if you want to smell like a snack like a literal snack this smells like a literal snack and the lady she was like all the girls when you left yesterday we were all talking what is that amazing smell what is that smell she smells so good i hope she comes back 
so we can ask her what she's wearing. And of course, I did because you know I gotta get my feet taken care of. But yes, Prada Candy. Um, I think I want to do a full review. I saw you guys really wanted to see a full review of this fragrance. I also got this one from a really cool website. It's a new fragrance web website. It's called Fave Grants, not fragrance. Fave, like your favorite grants, and they have a deal. First purchase, welcome 10. That's the promo code. You get 10% off. Free shipping over $25, which especially this one was. But this is nice, especially as you're getting your fall collection together. Check her out, okay? That one's compliment. I'm sure it's going to be more compliments going. But I like that was like the first day that I actually wore, wore that fragrance. Getting compliments. What I have is going to kind of be a twofer, okay? So I'll show you the OG, the original first, which is right here. This is Montel Paris Roses Musk Eau de Parfum. If you've been rocking with me, you've heard the story. I'll tell you again, okay? Again. All right, so I was in Popeye's drive through before I've had this radical change in what I eat. With everything that I'm going through right now, I had to change completely how I eat. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've lost literally 20 pounds. Legitimately, I've lost 20 pounds, my dude. Like, I don't know. I kind of maintain the same body type. Like, I I'm never going to be, like, real thin, but I'm also never going to be, like, a lot larger. Something about my body type... I've maintained the same size ever since I was like in elementary school. Like I was big for a kid then, but just average size now. But anyways, I don't go to Popeyes anymore. I tried to, I felt terrible and the food was just like not really seasoned. Anyways, I was in the Popeyes long, wet, a long, long time ago, um, rocking this scent. Okay. And just love that dust bath. Oh, I can already smell it. It's like the sweetest rose, almost like a candied rose with, of course, that thick musk that just really sticks to you and adheres to the skin. I let my window down to get my chicken, get my little bag of spicy, crispy chicken, New Orleans style, okay? New Orleans. And the lady, the lady who worked there, she was like, dang, it smells good. And I was like, what, the chicken? And she's like, no, you. And I was like, oh, okay. At that point, I couldn't smell it on myself anymore, but apparently it was really strong. I mean, if I could just let the window down, and I mean, she's, you know, it's some distance between us. She's inside the building. There's all this space in between and air and all types of stuff. But she was like, wow, you smell that. You smell good. And she was talking about this one. This one right there. Love that packaging. So cute. Um, But, I mean, it is around $100. It is around a hundred dollars, and you know it is. People trying to save their coin. I got this one from Fragrance Net. They usually have it in stock. It's hard to find this, but they usually have it in stock. So check it out. It's a one point seven fluid ounce. Cool, cool, cool bottle. If you don't want to spend that money, I got, I got. Hey, 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 I got you. Okay, this is an inspired scent. This is from FM Fragrances. I think they're based in Europe. But you can find a representative pretty much anywhere. I think they kind of have representatives all over the place. They get incentives like um, Avon or Mary Kay, that sort of thing. So you can find people in the, in the United States. This one's from Frederico Mahora. This is Pure Royale. That's the line. And this is the number 713, okay? It smells identical. It smells identical. I mean, a little less well blended. I mean, this one smells a little bit more sharp to me. Um, but I mean, to the naked nose, people aren't like honing in, looking for that difference. You won't be able to find it. And besides it being inspired by that, it's a beautiful scent. And I got a compliment on, I was in a dealership with this sexy ginger guy. He had gold chains. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, but anyways, as I was walking out, we were going to look at a vehicle. He was like... Hold the door open. He's like, you smell real good. I was like, perfume Donna better smell good. And I was wearing this right here. It smells really good. As you can see, oh my God, I've used so much of it. I like it. Now this one I recently got. This is another one I recently got. So this is from the Elemental Fragrances. You guys know I talk about them all the time. No, I'm not paid. I just like their stuff. It, look, if I'm not talking about a fragrance, I probably just don't like it that much or it's not gravitating towards me that sort of thing so yeah but yeah so this is from the elemental fragrances based in new york city based in america which is amazing for a perfume brand it's a niche brand it's black owned super dope the quality is amazing i mean every scent that i've experienced from them 
lasts all day. That's like their main thing is to have a scent that is, first of all, unique because it is niche. You don't want to smell. I mean, if you're going niche and spend that kind of money, you want something that has a little bit of something different, right? I mean, like you don't want to just come out of there smelling like caramel, but whatever. So this brand always is able to do that. Smells great. Great performance. I mean, just everything about it. So this is a new fragrance that just came out with. This is number two. This one has cucumber, melon, ginger, lime, oud, and rose. It's a 1.7 ounce from the Empress line. Oh my God, it smells so freaking good. It smells so good. I'm actually going to do a video on tips and tricks. Nice fragrance. My mom was over here. She's like, wow, that smells really, really good. She was spraying it on herself. She's a really tough critic. She actually has her own fragrance channel. But she was spraying this one and she's like, this smells so good. I'm like, doesn't it? It smells so good. Fresh with a, like a kick. I've been so into ginger. The latest Valentino release, Viva, what is it all of? I hope I get it right. Vose Viva. Maybe. Anyways, that one has ginger in it. Hermes, Tuli de Hermes has ginger. Ginger is just a nice kick of spice to a fragrance to add some depth. But yeah, it still has the freshness because it has the cucumber and it has the womanly femininity because of the rose. But yeah, fire scent, mom approved, okay? That's what matters. Mama like it. The next one that we have is going to be, this is like a scent memory for me. So I discovered this fragrance when I was in grad school overseas in Northern Ireland. It was my first introduction to Jo Malone is what we call her. So I went into the store. It's like drew me in because of course everything smelled amazing. I'm like, what am I going to get? And it was freaking this one, which is Red Roses Cologne. Love it so much. It just smells like fresh cut. Ro oh my gosh. Immediately, I like I could cry. I could literally cry. It takes me back to grad school and like being surrounded by my friends and just so much fun and being out of the country and just like traveling that carefree lifestyle. Just, oh my God, I love it so much. But anyways, whenever I would wear this fragrance, my friend Chavi would like grab me and be like, and just like smell it. He's like, it smells so good. And I'm like, zone it, zone it. Um, I think one day if I just really want to treat myself, maybe I'll buy the entire range the the um body wash the lotion maybe the full size but i don't want the full size because i want this to be like my special thing maybe this would be like my wedding day scent too just like the most special scent of all time love it but it's a compliment getter like people used to always be like oh my god you smell so good and then when i wasn't in class they would be like oh when i was in class but they didn't know like they didn't see me that day i was out doing something but i had been in the class that day people would come up to me after they saw me and said, I knew you were here today because I smelled your Red Roses perfume. And I was just like, score! Love that. That's what, I, that's what I was trying to do. The next one that I have is kind of similar to what I already mentioned for the flanker of Prada Candy, but that's okay because I have to put this in here. I have to. I mean, it's a basic scent, but it literally will get you so many compliments. It's just Prada Candy. I caved last year and bought the full bottle because, dang it, it smells good. And I want to smell like caramel. I love sweet scents. It's one of my favorite scent profiles. And it gets you compliments. Whenever you go somewhere, someone's just going to be like, oh, you smell good. You smell edible. You smell edible. Really good for a date night, I think. Really good. I think men would love that, um, that sort of thing. So, yeah. Definitely a compliment getter. Of course it is. That's why it's like one of the best sellers in the entire world. But it had to let you know that I've got so many compliments wearing this fragrance. That was going to be from Salvatore Ferragamo. So this is Amo. I talk about this all the time. I love it so much. It smells like a vanilla creamsicle. But whenever I wear this, I get chased down in the streets. This one and the next one I'm going to show you. Um, it's like not too sweet. Like you can wear this one in the summer. If you still live in a really warm climate, but you like sweet scents, this is Valleybon approved for warmer climate and sweet scents. Just smells so nice, feminine, delicate, and it's just like an ultimate compliment getter. Mmm, this smells so good. It's one of those scents to where it does leave a trail and people are just gonna feel like so calm to know, okay? The next one that we have, I actually don't have right here, but I have to tell you, um, like it's in the other room, but I can't find it, oops. But it's the Donna Aqua 
that one is so amazing it has been discontinued but you can find it on fragrance net i've seen it there um i did see it i think on fave grants as well so check out them um but yeah it's a really nice scent it's got that nice nutty almond note almost like a cherry ripe cherry almond note that just makes it very smooth very almost like an endearing sweet kind of a scent that also has like a regal classy element to it it's a, it's a really a beauty i hope they bring it back soon and if i see if i see it in stores if i see it in stores i'm definitely 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 gonna grab a backup because i love it so much the next one that we have is going to be from moogler oh my gosh i love this scent so much it's so nice so this one has a very nice tuberose fragrance to it but it smells so elegant and so womanly i mean it just smells rich it just smells like a rich woman has white florals but it has just like a kick something that's so well blended the notes aren't easily identifiable when you spray this one it just smells like let me actually let me spray because i haven't sprayed in a really long time i think it's more so like um a summer scent but it's so strong and robust i wear this all the time this is alien fusion okay yes it has that kick and it just smells oh it smells so rich Actually, I think this may be the scent of the night. I'm very excited because I feel like this hair that I'm rocking just looks like a rich woman, right? I feel like this hair look like rich woman. This hair look like a troublemaker. This hair don't work. This hair has a blowout at 9 a.m. on a Tuesday. Of course, this hair does not work. This hair is going for a summer Capri salad, even though it's fall. And don't you tell me no or else you're fired. This hair will be firing people. I love this hair. Ooh. But yeah, deets below. I posted the, the deets below to my little hair, my little costume sessions. But yeah, those are the ones I uh, most complimented fragrances in my collection. Let me know which ones you've tried, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.